Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Last time we left off, we went to the AV room to figure out what the hell's on those DVDs, and I guess it was shocking to everybody, and they're scared, and Maisona was especially terrified. And before we even went to sleep that night, she was scared that somebody was trying to get in her room, so we traded rooms, you know? And Well, here we are in a cafeteria, because we all decided to have breakfast together. So, and the uh, thing. Okay, when I arrived in the cafeteria, several people had, are, were already there. Uh, let's see. Nope, can't read it. I apologize, this always happens in every single episode, but I guess, like, when I take a break for one episode to the next, it just, uh, happens. Or even, even when I just let up pause in between videos, it still seems to happen. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter if I just pause or anything, but kind of weird. This sucks. I think this fixes itself. Good morning to you, Niggy. Listen to, uh, listen to this. I was the first to be here this morning, I think. <laughs> Good morning. Morn. Uh, early to rise, I see. Uh, yeah, the people gathered in the first wave are those in the students of good habits category. And the ones who show up a bit late... Hi. Sup? Hello. Sorry I'm late. Took a bit longer to do my makeup than usual. Oh dear, please excuse my tardiness. I was so in in engaged in my morning work. Students have a slightly loose ad adherence to time. Most high schoolers probably fall in this group. And then they were the ones who make everyone wait, drifting and drifting in unfashionably late. Hey. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> my bed, my bed, I slept in. <laughs> what? Is there still something wrong with me being late? Ooh. I didn't oversleep. I just couldn't find my way, dude. I got lost in Bermuda Triangle. Choose truth. Those to whom time holds no meaning, living at their own pace, unconcerned about others. And thus, everyone finally gathered. Under normal circumstances, this would have been true. Hmm? hmm? We're not all here yet? Uh. Still missing Meizona and Tugami. I expected no less from Tugami. But Meizona should have been with the students of Good Habits crowd. And yet, she wasn't here. None. What? Did something happen? Uh. Yo, Tugami, you see Meizona around? <laughs> like, I know where she is. I left my room and came straight here. Has she forgotten our breakfast oath? She lives her life by her schedule. Listening to them talk, a small seed of apprehension planted in my breast slowly began to sprout. I'm gonna go check on her. No sooner than the words had left my mouth, I dart out into the hall. I mean, seriously, Maisono, I, I arrived at my destination. The room I had exchanged with Maisono for one night. My room. The room she was supposed to have slept in. However, that room? Oh in the span of a single night has transformed into something completely different. What happened here? Holy crap, what the hell happened to my room? There's a lot of crap I can look at. Let's see here. Oh, uh, can I, what about this stuff? More importantly, what about Maisono? What about her? What about all this stuff though? This is the Guild of Practice store I brought back with me for self-defense. This is just a scabbard. The blade's been drawn. More, impo more importantly, what about Meizono? Why? What is going on? This is the Guild of Practice where I brought back. The blade has been drawn from the scabbard. So I think when you look at anything, what about where's? What about Meizono? I see my shower room is unlocked. I peeked into the shower. I. Peeked into the shower. Oh, no, 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 no. It took a while for me to realize I was screaming. The sight before me burned itself into my retinas. And then. And then, the stage went dark. <sighs> we just kind of hit the midpoint of this chapter.
I open my eyes to a wide open ceiling. A somewhat familiar wide open ceiling. I sat up and this time I saw a face. A somewhat familiar face. <laughs> ah, you're finally awake. Are you okay? <clears throat> this ain't the time for a nice relaxing wake up. Hurry your ass up. What happened? Dude, you lost consciousness. Max, you so we carried you here. It is not unthinkable in such a situation. Such a situation? No, no. Maggie, are you sure you're okay? It wasn't a dream. That wasn't a dream? <laughs> no, that was reality. Sayaka Mizono is dead. A thick, slimy despair spread through my body, then burst out like an explosion. I jumped up and, and ran. <laughs> Where do you intend to go? What do you think? I have to go see if... I have to see if Meizono... I have to see Meizono! Everyone's already confirmed it. There's no doubt. She's dead. No, I'm going! He said sit still! What's gonna char- what's gonna change if you go? What's the point of staying here? And anyway... What's everyone doing in a gymnasium at a time like this? Our friend, Meizono, she's dead! Dead. It finally hit me when that word left my mouth. Meizono is dead. We're not here on our own will either. Then, why? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma, he told us to gather here. Of course, we objected. What are you saying? Something terrible has happened to Meizono! However, it was my suggestion. I, re I recommended we all follow his orders for the time being. We're prisoners, are we not? There's little merit in us fighting back every step of the way to avoid any more needless sacrifice. Why should we have to listen to what that thing has to tell us to do? It's obvious that he is the one who killed Meizono. I wouldn't go do something like that. If you believe anything, believe that. You dare show your face? Unless a rule has been violated, I will not personally get involved. And I certainly wouldn't do anything that goes against the spirit of academic life. Academy life. I'm famous at Safari Parks for being twice as uh, stringent, stringent whatever, about the rules of it as the other bears. But then, who killed... You already know the answer! It was one of you guys who killed Sayaka, Sayaka Meizono. At those words, we fell into complete silence. One of us killed Meizono? That's... that's not possible. Huh? Is something wrong? Your face looks like a, a, like a, do, a dove that got mowed down by the Gatling gun. Come on, didn't we already go over this? All that happened was, he, was one of you guys killed Meizono so you could graduate. Those are the rules. There's nothing wrong with it. You're lying, yes? Of course he's lying. He's the one who killed her. Nope. The killer is one of you guys. The person who did the deed should know that perfectly well. Huh? Unconsciously, I looked around everyone's faces. Everyone else is doing the same. We traded glances laced of fear, confusion, and suspicion. Back and forth. Back and forth. Is that... The truth? Who? Who killed her? My goodness, some of you still can't accept it. Shut it! I ain't buying that shit! Silence. While it's still here, I, I have something I'd like to verify with that teddy bear over there. <laughs> Assuming one of us really is a murderer, that person is able to graduate, correct? Huh? huh? Don't play stupid. You said so yourself. One can graduate by committing murder. And they, there's a laugh. Why the guffaw? Because you're naive. Way too naive. You think it's just that easy? You just gotta kill someone? That's hugely naive. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. Quite the contrary. The real fun starts here. The real fun? Then, how about this? Let me tell you about the supplementable rules concerning graduation. As I've explained to you already, you can't graduate unless you kill someone. 
But in doing so, there was another promise you had to keep too, wasn't there? The six rule. You must not betray the other students and that are that that you are a uh, murdering villain. I believe that's what you're referring to, yes? Bingo! Just killing isn't good enough. You gotta do the deed and get away with with it. So, a short while after you off you after you off some poor sucker to see if you satisfy these conditions, we'll hold a class trial! A class trial? The class trial will begin a few hours after a corpse has been discovered, during which the murderous villain will have this fierce showdown on, on the class courtroom. Versus the remaining students, the heroes! The question is, at this trial is, which one of you guys is a super duper high school villain? The answer to that question is to be decided by a vote conducted at the end of the trial. If the answer you guys come up with is correct, the order disputing villain will be punished and everyone else will get, get to continue their life together. On the other hand, if you and the jury selects the wrong person as the villain, the villain will live on having escaped from his sins and the rest of the you heroes will be punished. If that happens, of course, your lives together here will be forcibly concluded. And that's all there is in the class trial, folks! Um, by the way, by, by the by, the sword you keep repeating, punished, what do you mean? Uh, to put it simply, I'm talking executed! E executed?! What do you mean, executed? Well, by execution, I mean execution. ex a q shun Biz Biz and electric chair, Billo Billo with a poison gas, ripped to pieces by a hurricane. In other words, if we were correct in choosing the killer, only the killer will be killed. But if we are wrong, all of us will be executed? Such a smart chimpanzee. That deadpan appeal of innocence is a nice little trick too. Basically, this is like that lay judge system in the outside world. You guys are the ones who decide who the criminal is. However, you can't make that decision lightly. All you guys' lives are at stake, after all. I'll add that up to the school rules, so you can go back and, and go back and look at it whenever. And we have more rules to the school rules. Wait just a second! This is, like, totally crazy. Huh? What's all this crap about class trials? There's no way I'm participating! And why is that? Like you even need to ask! Why should I have to play this Find the Culprit game with you? What's this? Someone won't participate in the class trial, then they've got to be penalized. Huh? Penalized? I'll probably lock you up in a dark and scary prison or something. Quit your babbling! Even if you threaten me, I'll st I'm still not participating. How selfish! You're the one being selfish! Making us kill each other? Leave me out of it! With such an overwhelming evil power starting me in the eyes, I'm shaking in my boots. But I will not yield to the darkness. Monokuma will always fight to the bitter end. If you truly wish to pass, you must take me down first. As he finished Monokuma charge, his, f his feet pitter-pattering against the hard floor. But... Oomph! There, are you happy now? Right back at ya! Huh? A violence against the headmaster, Monokuma, is prohibited. This is a violation. Heed my call, O Spear of Legend Gungir. I can never say that word right. Come to find master's aid! Uh, oh my god! No, 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 no! What the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Huh? What? That, that doesn't make sense. Why me? In her final moments, Inoshima's eyes went wide. And just like that, she never moved again. What? No! You're shitting me! Inconceivable! I'm really feeling it now, the importance of tropes. I was waiting to avoid- I was I was wanting to avoid causing any any unnecessary deaths, if at all possible. But I guess sacrificial lamb really is necessary. Man, I love that trope. 
But hey, you guys get him now, don't you? I mean business. If you resist, I'll make Swiss cheese out of you, blow you up, bury you alive, melt you, etc. If you don't want to be end up like that, you guys better adhere strictly to the school rules. Hiroshima's body, skewered by spears. A pool of blood was formed beneath it. That was the first time I had seen a moment of a person's death. Anyone could tell just by looking. Inoshima, our friend, until just a moment ago, was dead, killed, terminated, and it all happened just like that. This is death. It's nothing to be surprised about. She's, she's just dead. All she is is dead. It's as ridiculously apparent as the in inevitable destruction of mankind. It's as stunningly natural as the inevitable end of the world. This isn't some RPG. Cram as many bird feathers down her flow as you want. She ain't coming back. Well, I really would like to use a phoenix down on her right now. Kind of like using a phoenix down on Aerith, or Aeris on Final Fantasy VII. Spoiler! The game's like, you know, t almost 20 years old. Well, not really 20 years, but you know what I mean. Not really a spoiler anymore. Nope, this is reality! Why'd you kill her? Weren't you going to imprison her? I changed my mind. You don't- you didn't premeditate her murder? Premeditate? How do you spell that? Premeditate. I premeditated her murder. Is that what you said? Hey, hey, I'm Monokuma! And that's not terribly important. I have something I need to give you guys before you start searching for the villain. This is a file of some data I gather on the corpse. I call it the Monokuma file! I mean, you guys are amateurs. There's only so much you can find out on a, from a corpse. So I went ahead and gathered info on the body, and anything and anything cause of death for you. Huh? You're wondering how I know what the cause of death is? I watched the whole thing, start to finish, and I'm studying high definition clarity, thanks to my security cameras. Then you know who the culprit is, the one who killed Mizono. You betcha. If I didn't, I couldn't make an impartial judgment in the class trial, now could I? Yes, your judgment should be impartial. I'm slightly re re relieved to hear that. Alrighty then, that's the look of your investigation. You're gonna need all the luck you can get. Do what you gotta do. I'll be seeing you again soon, at the class trial. And with that, Monokuma left. Leaving us confused. Bewildered. Alone with Inoshima's horribly mangled body. For some time, not a one of us could even open our mouths to speak. Naturally, we were shocked by Meizono's and, and Ishin, uh, Inoshima's irrational deaths. But that's, that wasn't all. Someone in this room killed another human being. On top of that, if we don't find out who did it, everyone else will be executed. We looked at each other with mistrusting eyes. Could things get any worse? However, despite the disturbingly abnormality of our situation, she was not perturbed in the slightest. Is this really a time to be depressed? Besides, if everyone's so blindly mistrusting one another, much like blind faith, the outcome can only be disaster. Huh? We need to work together. It's up to you who you want to believe in or who you want to doubt. Indeed, fleeing over the deceased won't benefit anyone. That's awful! I've warned you numerous times already, those who cannot adapt will simply die. Inability to adapt, disobedience, these things lead to death. You reap what you sow. You're terrible! Even in, situa in the situation, that's what that's way out of line! We need to focus on figuring out who the killer is, first of all. If we don't, then all of us will be executed. Precisely. <laughs> it's time to begin the hunt. Either way, we cannot escape it. We have no other choice. We've got no choice. This is really our only choice. Execution my ass! You ain't fucking killing me! Shit, let's get going. We have no other choice. Every one of us is whispering that, that to our to ourselves. This is trying to instill in us some confidence and drive. Yes, we have no other choice. Even if we don't want to, we have no other choice. Our one chance of holding on to our lives. We have no other choice. Beyond that, I need to know. Why was Mezono killed? Why did Mezono 
have to die. I'm afraid of that answer, but I have to know. If I don't, I'll never be able to accept Mezono's death. And that's why I have no choice. All right. So, what a way, the, what an episode. We had 15 students living, you know, hap well, not really happy with each other, but it was just 15 of us, you know, trying to be friends and trying to avoid participating in this damn game or whatever that Monokuma set up for us, and not only is Meizono dead, but Inoshima is dead as well. Killed no other no other by than, you know, Monokuma. This is one hell of an episode, really. I guess the next episode we're gonna start figuring out what happened to Meizono, like who killed her, why she was killed, how. Those are all the answers we need to figure out. So, as usual. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Danganronpa. I'll see you guys later.